Okay, YouTube friends, um, it's me again. So previously, I have replaced the stock Apple SSD with a M.2 NVMe SSD on this uh, 1708 uh, MacBook Pro. However, during the past two days, I have discovered um, two issues. The first problem is that as as long as this MacBook falls asleep, it can never wake up. I believe this is a problem caused by the uh, incompatibility between the uh, new SSD and the uh, uh, MacBook internal mechanism. So, uh, and then the other issue is that it's kind of a little bit thicker, which makes the bottom not perfect flat. Yeah, today I'm going to try to see if I can um, solve the two issues. But first, let's open up the MacBook again. Remove the battery connection. Yeah, I believe the problem is that uh, sleep or hibernation mechanism is not compatible with the Toshiba drive. So I'm trying, I, I just uh, purchased a different brand, a Samsung, and I will test the Samsung today. Um, the reason I think it's kind of bulky is this two guy, these two guys over here. What I like to do, so I realized that this type of adapter um, initially is designed to work with um, the uh, 30 uh, millimeter or 45 millimeter NVMe drive while the standard NVMe drive is 80 millimeter. That's why um, it's, it's, it's much longer. If I'm using a standard um, 80 millimeters drive, I really don't need these two. See if I can remove them. Which means that this little guy is removable. One of the big advantage of using um, the M.2 NVMe drive rather than the Apple proprietary or stock drive is that you can use an external um, SSD enclosure to read and write data. It's better for data recovery. Yeah, seems good. Then I find my tape. Let's see, what's up? Wow, see, no issues. Huh, wakes up fine. Okay, so today I'm trying to solve two issues. Uh, first is um, by removing these two metal piece, I was able to set the NVMe SD more flat. Therefore, there's no bulkiness on the bottom and the laptop can sit flat. 
which is good. The second thing, most importantly, is wh whether um, the NVMESD can support, uh, can work flawlessly to support a sleep or hibernation. As of today, I cannot find any floor with the third party NVME SSD. I will do more testing, but I'm very confident that this the new SSD will work as flawlessly as the uh, original uh, Apple SSD. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.